Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stacy. Um, I've already started drinking. I had started recording before and kind of messed up, but I will show you all what I'm drinking. It's, uh, see I done made a mess already, but that's okay. But this is what I'm drinking. And, um, hmm. So I want to start by saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the love that I got on my daughter's channel. Um, thank you so much for all the encouragement. Everyone was like, you know, telling me to start my own channel and they can't wait. They would subscribe. And I'm just, I'm excited. Um, just know that we're gonna do we're gonna be all over the place i'm gonna be all over the place we're gonna have the laughing there gonna be moments of complete laughter there's gonna be moments of tears there gonna be moments of silence the moments of sadness but joy it's we just gonna be all over the place i'm just gonna be honest with you um i'm gonna be doing a variety of things don't know exactly what all i'm gonna do but i do know that um uh, i will be drinking <laughs> that's like a given so just know um and whatever i decide to drink i'll make sure i let you know and see it and share the recipes and all that good stuff because i love to make mixed drinks um so but you know today i'm tonight i'm doing wine because i kind of overdid it yesterday i think but um uh, Nevertheless, I had fun. Hmm. But anyway, again, I just want to say thank you. Um, you guys are the absolute best. Um, yes, I got, we got negativity. We got some bad stuff. But the love that was shown and that has been shown and that is continuing to be shown to myself and to my daughter is, awesome is is greatly appreciated so grateful so thankful um and just know i'm one of the coolest people you're gonna meet um this is new to me because i i do tend to keep things to myself i don't you know when i'm talking one-on-one -on -one to people Yes, I'm, I, I give you whatever advice you need. I open up and I share a lot of things with me. But I can truly say that over the years, I've learned to really open up. Because a lot of times, what we have been through can help somebody else. If we would just open our mouth and say something. A lot of times, we just keep things to ourselves because we don't want nobody to know what we're going through. I'll be the first one to say my life is far from perfect but i also know that things could be worse so yes i love to laugh i love to smile i love to have fun i love to make people laugh i love to see people happy because i am one of those people that tend to take on if you're sad then i'm a, you know i tend to pick up your heart and take on your heart so if I can make you smile and forget about what you're going through for a minute, oh my God, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if you are a negative person, I'm going to get you the hell out from around me. Let me just, let's just be clear about that because um, I just, life is too short. Let, let, let me say that. That is so my motto now. Life is too short. And if you're lucky, you go get some good times. Life is what you make of it. There is always going to be some problems. There's always going to be something that upsets you, to make you sad, to depress you. There's always going to be something. But in the midst of that, you have got to find your happy place. My happy place just so happened to be in a glass with some good stuff in there as my grandsons say adult juice that's where my happy place is i'm not a drunk but i do get drunk i do feel i i i'm going to enjoy life i would tell anybody look 
if don't nobody else have fun, <laughs> you best believe Miss Brown go have her some fun. Yeah, I had to pull the fan out because she told me I could not to have on my fans. So I got to do a little hand fan because, you know, you're drinking and you fluffy. <laughs> Yeah, that's what the Jamaicans come in. Fluffy. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Fluffy, yes. But anyway, when you're fluffy and you're drinking and then you got all this hair, yes, yes, hunty, yes, hunty. You get a little hot. But anyway, so wait a minute. Y'all, mm, 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 mm. I don't. I don't, I don't smoke. <laughs> I don't do any of that little stuff. I'm just a drinker. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about myself. Not going to tell y'all my age just yet, but um, I am a single mother of four. I have two girls, two boys. As I said in my daughter's video, I have a 31-year-old son, an 18-year-old son. He'll be, my baby will be 19 in August. Everybody else not have birthdays this year. Um, then I have Tika, that's 27, and then I have Beverly, and she's 22. And I have a uh, um, daughter-in-law, my oldest son, he's married, and then, of course, you know, Martika, she's married. And then I have two grandsons by Martika and my um, son-in-law, Robert. And then I have two granddaughters by my son, Ezekiel, which we call Kale, and his wife, Heather. Um, so that's, you know, I've never been married. Let me say, I, I'm not married, never been married. I am my mother's only child. Um, uh, my father, he had two more kids behind me. Um, but I grew up with my mother. So anytime you hear me speaking of my, um, aunts and uncles or cousins or uh, my grandparents, it's always, I'm always speaking on my mother's side of the family. But um, I haven't been proposed to over the years, but we'll get into the reason. Because a lot of people ask me to this day, you know, why aren't you married? You know, if you're like, you're, you're beautiful, you know, you got a lot of life in you. You know, why are you not married? Why haven't you been married? It's a long story. That's going to be one of my story times. It's going to be... Y'all going to get a lot of stuff. You're going to get a lot. So all I can say is just tune in. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm excited. I, I welcome all questions. But I will say this. I am one of the sweetest people you will meet. But yes, will I clap back? Yes, I will. And it just depends upon how I felt that morning when I woke up. And read the comments. Ask that what kind of reaction you're going to get. Now I'm going to try Tap like I got some sense. But one thing about me, I give you back what you give me. So you give me negativity, I'm going to come back at you with negativity. Unless it's, I'm just in one of the moves that day, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to give them my energy. Because the thing is, when when people come at you crazy and, and get you all upset and out of your element and out your character, they tend to pull your energy. Um, and I just don't have that kind of energy. Yeah, I'm, 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 you know, I'm getting on up there. I'm not no spring chicken. I need to use my energy for other stuff. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> I am, I'm looking forward to whatever may come of this channel. Um, I'm a little dry, so that's why I'm also kind of, people don't believe it. People would not believe me when I say this, but I'm actually shy. Um, I have to, I have have this uncanny ability to kind of block out things and just be myself and but act like I'm just not a person in the room. And that has truly helped me. Um, but um, it's, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. This channel... I'm sure there's a lot of them out there that does advice, but we're going to do advice. We're going to do weeks. Like, this is a week. Can't remember her name. Um, I'll tell you next time. But yeah, this is, 
This is a unit, and I, I love it, actually. I absolutely love it. I love big hair. So, you know, when I do, you see me with the little flat hair that's kind of different. I love big hair. I just, I love, love, love big hair. Um, I'm a girly girl, so I like, you know, rhinestones and, you know, big earrings. I love accessorizing. I love makeup. Um, I just, I love everything it is about being a woman. I do. I embrace who I am. Um, I'm a very encouraging person. Um, I, I love to see women that are happy, that know who they are, that can walk in the room and shift the atmosphere. Oh, I love that. I love it when a woman carries herself because she knows who she is and she's not intimidated by the next person because understand something, none of us are perfect, but you have to embrace what you have. And I embrace all of this, all of this. I do. Are there things on me that I would love to change? I gotta say, well, yeah, I don't like my stomach, but it's mine. <laughs> and I can say I have learned to embrace it that it doesn't bother me like it used to. But I, yeah, I, we're gonna have fun, guys. Just, I don't wanna get too deep tonight. Um, I'm just really here for the introduction um, because I told Tika that I would do something. This is hard, y'all. I mean, you're trying to get these angles right, and I'm sitting here like, man, this some bull. <laughs> and then it's like, <laughs> you know you want your background to look nice, so you, you're trying to put stuff in place. You got to move other stuff. But, boy, if you can see that I done had to rearrange my room. I done had to pull my two lamps because I have two lamps that I have sitting on the side of my makeup desk. I had to pull them over and put them right here because I was trying to find the right angle. And and this camera I got, I love my new phone, but God, that thing, ooh, hey, you looking like pie face all up in your face. And I'm like, look now. Oh, I mean, I know. Hey, hey, we got to do something about this. So it's like it's only so far you can push the thing back because it's sitting on my TV stand. Yeah, I don't get how to get But yeah. Um, <laughs> I just, you, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, because yeah, tonight, I'm by myself, and I, this is all I've had, I haven't been really drinking, you know, and I don't have any, any, uh, spirits to take shots, so, yeah, but, my favorite color, I'm like this little, I'm trying to think of stuff that I could tell you. My favorite color is pink. Uh, you can't tell if you look in my room because I was going through this purple phase at one point. I love purple and gray together. But that little pink box back there came from Bath and Body Works. Uh, my daughter Beverly um, had bought that. But it's, you know, I know uh, it's like have the little set or something that came in it but she actually took it and um made pictures oh, it was a beautiful gift that she gave me it was so personalized i'm very simple i'm not a lot of people look at me and get the wrong impression because they think that i think i'm all of that i don't it's not that i think i'm all of that i'm just comfortable with who i am um i was raised to be proud of who you are, to love yourself. You cannot love someone else if you don't love yourself first. And I love me some me with my crazy ass. I love me some me. Yes, yeah, some days, I'm going to be honest with you now, some days, I be like, girl, if you don't go sit your ass down so well, you know what, maybe you need to go in the corner or something to get your attitude right. Because some days, I'm going to tell you now, I be acting a fool. And some days I don't like myself because I'm like, now, you know what? Now, you just you just full of hell today. Now, you go on over there and sit down somewhere. And, but when I do that, because I'm going to tell you about me. When I'm feeling some kind of way, and I know I, when I, I know it when I wake up, if I'm full of hell or not. And when I'm like that, I'm like, okay, 
I'm going to stay in my room or I'm going to just do what I need to do because, you know, there are responsibilities that we all have in, in the house um, to keep the house going. We are a family unit and we truly work together. Um, and we all serve our purpose. We all know our responsibilities and we take care of them and things work. Things, they flow. Um, but I can wake up some mornings and I already know, like, you know what, you, yeah, I keep messing with this. Hey, y'all. Um, I'm like, you go get on, you get on my nerves. Um, and I'm, when, I'm, when I'm like that, I will separate myself. People think I be being funny. It's not that. I don't believe in if I'm going through something, I don't believe in taking out my problems on other people. So I will separate myself. So I, but people are not used to that. People are not used to me being quiet. They're not used to me being off somewhere in a room by myself. They're used to me interacting and, and laughing and goofing off and, you know, just because. And and so when I act, when I do that, people are like, what? Wait a minute. What's wrong with her? Nothing. It's just that I don't want to take out my frustration on you if you're not the reason for it. Now, because I don't like when people do that. I, people do that. I've had that happen to me more times than not. And I have to tell them, look, now, I didn't sleep with your ass last night. So don't come at me like that. Now, whoever done pissed you off, whoever pissed in your cornflakes, you need to go deal with them. But under no circumstances, you go come at me all crazy and sideways. Cause I'm telling you now, I'm gonna get you. Go keep it up, and I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you what you want. And you might not you might not like me after it's over with. You might even stop talking to me. But I have to be pushed to that. I don't just up and say, you know, I'm finna be an ass today. No, I don't. I don't do that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it depends who it is. I ain't gonna lie. I don't. I got some people that I just say, you know what? He ain't gonna rest until I act the fool. And then so I'm like, you know what? I just feel like I got hell in me. They're finna, and I begin to text whoever or call them and just raise hell and phone. And I'm happy. I believe that's what happens sometimes with these comments, man. I believe people be already tripping. They pissed off about something else. And then they just come across your video. And they just got to say something negative. Because, hell, they mad. You know, and I be going to tell them, what? You ain't getting no damn hugs and kisses as a child. What's wrong with you, baby? I mean, what? You you you, you want a hug. You want a hug. Come on. I'll hug you. I mean, but look, dude, lighten up. Act like you got some damn sense. I ain't came at you crazy, don't come at me crazy. But anyway, that's my favorite saying, but anyway. Um, yeah, we go. I think, yeah, I did. We did say I do nails. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to eventually do a nail tutorial. Um, makeup. I'm going to try to do that too. I'll just, I guess because I'm that person that have always been a hands-on learner that I just need for you not necessarily to explain it to me, but to show it to me or as you're doing it to talk, tell me what you're doing. And that's how I learn. And so I tend to be that person. So it's kind of, I'm, I'm having to learn how to, to give instructions and details as I do something but um I am going to at some point I know I'm sure I'll do some type of makeup tutorial I'm looking real washed out and I know it's these lights that uh, I have these are the daytime lights but these are the best lights when you're like a, to have at your makeup desk you know like the makeup ring the real bright is they're the best lights but like in a situation like this, I look, I do, I look washed out because right here I'm looking one way, but you know, I got a mirror right here and I look like I know I look, but then here I'm looking washed out, but it's okay. Um, I kind of figured I should have put on a colored lipstick. I started to put on purple because I like to wear, you know, I go through my stages. I like to wear different color lipsticks. Um, 
but yes i do between i do my own hair i do my own eyebrows my own makeup do my own nails i do my own feet um as far as hair um tika if i'm if for the past year and a half i've been wearing wigs um even the wig i had on another uh, mukbang we did that was a a wig i had made but we i've been wearing wigs for over a year um and I, I like it better because I get to change up more often. Um, and as for those of you that are, you know, in the 40 and older club, you know, as you get older, things about you change. Um, whereas we used to could put all this stress and stuff in our hair and all that stuff in our hair could take it. You know, as you get older, you have to use wisdom. So yeah, my, and my smart moment was, hey, Stage, you're gonna have to lay off the sew ins and you're gonna have to start doing wigs. Well, you know, I try to make them look as natural as possible. Um, and I, I've never been a wig wearer, but I love for the past actually, it's been a year and a half now. Yes, no, 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 it has been a year, it has been a year. I started wearing wigs last summer. So it's been a year and I love it. I do. I love it. I love the look. I love the fact that I can do hair care and I do sleep in them though. That's the thing. And I wear the bonnets at night. Um, I put a bonnet on and then I take a scarf. I fold it down and then I tie it so to keep the edges flat. But I wear, um, I do sleep in my weeds and I don't know. I just, I ain't never, that's probably why I never like wigs. That look of where well, like wigs, that look of you all, oh, this is cute. And then next thing you know, you do like this. Oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> Tika does that. And I'm like, oh, my God. It used to be this woman that went to church with, um, went to my uh, church. My mom used to be a pastor. She was a pastor for 14 years. And uh, one of the ladies, and she used to make me laugh so hard, y'all, because this thing would have her good wigs on the church. <laughs> as soon as she walked across that parking lot and got in her car, she literally would take the wig off her head. And I'm like, I can't with you. Stop that. And she she didn't care. I mean, we everybody do their wigs. I'm like, just because we know their wigs, I mean, you got to act like that. Come on now use some decorum house you know but she didn't care and uh but she used to tickle me so much for that tika she another one tika have on the wig and then soon we walk in the house i mean excuse me walk in the house she taking a wig off but what that can't stand when she does we could be sitting there talking and all of a sudden she'll do like that and i'm like tika do not take your lashes off at this table that girl will do like this and get them soft so they'll come and then just take them right on off lay them on there she she have them on the wig she'll pull it off i'm like I, oh my god i need you to stop that but she like hey i'm at home now it, it doesn't matter i'm like but still just because you're at home we don't want to see you looking damn crazy Stay, stay cuted up today. Do that in your bedroom when it's time to go to bed. But no, I don't take my wigs off. I um, I usually will sew them down, have Tika to uh, braid me down, and then sew them on. But like the ones that's like this, that are like lace fronts and stuff, you know. I just, you know, I don't sew the front. I just leave it flat. But I just have the back sewed down. But I didn't sew this one down. Uh, this one just on my head is just on really good because this wig is by Sensational. Yeah, the Empress line. So it has like six cones because this part can actually be cut. And, you know, you can pull your hair out and do all that. But, of course, I didn't cut it. But it has like a cone right here, a cone right there, two cones right here, or oh, a cone right here. And then two in the back. So it has a total of seven cones. And it has the adjustable band. When I tell you, I love, love, love this wig. And the fact that it's big. I took it down because, you know, usually I have it pent up in the top. But I took it down today because I, I just I just want to do something different. But, um, 
Yeah, I'm not going to keep rambling and running off at the mouth. I'm trying to drink this, but you know, it's like, I got to choose either I'm going to drink or I'm going to talk. I'm going to drink or I'm going to talk. I personally would rather drink, <laughs> but I know y'all want to hear me talk, but, um, hmm. Let me tell y'all about this Merlot. I like it. I think I like it more because it's 13%. <laughs> I know. I know. Because, you know, so when me and Tia go out to the store, we be looking at different wines and we want to try. We look at the percentage of alcohol. We do. I mean, hey, the more alcohol, the, the higher the percentage, the better I'm going to feel. And the, I mean, I can deal with that taste. The Merlot is not, this one, Gallo is not that bad. Um, Barefoot has one that I tried last week, and it was good. That's really what got me back on doing the Merlot, because I love red Moscato. Um, and, but my favorite of all times, before I was introduced to the red Moscato by Gallo, it was by Livingston Cellar. And it was the Red Rosé, or the Sangria. Oh, my goodness. I used to play this uh, game on Facebook called um, Texas Hold'em, poker game. Yes, I can play a little poker. <laughs> I used to play that game, and I used to go into, uh, it's this store, well, you know, either the liquor store or I would go to the store that we have here in uh, Georgia uh, called Food Depot. Because, you know, they had a, it's much less and then they just add the little 10% sur surcharge or whatever. But anyway, I used to go and get the really, they have a bottle that's like Livingston Cellar, not Gallo, Livingston Cellar. But it's like two of these uh, put together. And I would have that big over and it was like, um... It wasn't expensive, you know, it's cheap wine, but it's good wine. But I would get um get that big bottle and I would sit at my computer and I would get on the game probably about ten o'clock once everybody went to sleep. And um once everybody was in the bed to sleep, I would get on that computer at about ten o'clock at night with that big bottle in my wine glass. And when I tell you, I will sit there all night long and play that game and you can interact and you can actually text and talk to people that's at your table. Cause you be playing against real life people. You literally play against real life people. So it was, man, I used to be. And by the next morning, I would get off the game. I would literally play that game up until about 6 o'clock in the morning, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning, because a lot of mornings, I would be getting ready to go to, I would just stay on up because the kid, it would be time for the kids to get up and go to school. So when they got up to go to school, I would still be playing games. I will be finishing up, and I will just stay up with them. And then once they go to bed, because I work from home, um, once they once they go to school, I'm sorry, not bed. Once they go to school, then I would go to bed. Uh, and I would sleep until about 2 o'clock because, you know, my son, he's gone about 2.30, 2.40. And uh, it, I'm just like, that was the best, though. I just, I enjoyed it. I've learned, I stay, I try to stay out of trouble um, because I've learned, you know, watching other people. You know, I, I'm not one of them people. I don't have to try everything. Hell, I can learn just from watching your stupid mistakes and what you go through. So I would watch, hell, I would watch everybody else get in trouble around me. And I'm like, no, I learned early on at a very early age, trouble is hard as, it's easy as hell to get in. It's easy to get into, but it's hard as hell to get out of it. So um, now... I, after I see you running to that brick wall, I, I'm going to go this way because apparently that way go going to get you jacked up. So I'm going to go this way. I don't, and uh, I just learned this. I like to, you know, I don't, I like to stay at home. I I have fun at home. And I'm sure at some point we're going to do some videos um, of girls night. We, we used to have, me and Tiki used to do a lot of girls nights. Um, 
or just bestie parties where we were just, and we call them bestie parties because all we did was everybody, it would be me, her, my friend, Kim, my best friend, Kim, and um, her best friend. Uh, she had two best friends. I had two best friends. It was either or, you know, but it would be usually end up being four of us. And we would, everybody bring something to drink. And we'll decide what we gonna eat that night. We might do nachos. We might do crawfish. We might do whatever. And we would just sit up and just drink and listen to music. Vibes Cartel. Yes, yes. Listen to music and just have a ball. Yes, absolutely. Just have a ball. And that's it. And it's, it was nothing extravagant. It was just good drinks good food and good friends them those three things you can turn you can have a good time any day of the week with those three things good drinks good food and good company good friends and that's what i truly believe in life is too short you have to learn to enjoy life you have to find happiness where you can and if you can't find it, then you create it. You get out there and you create your happiness. You do not, if you find that there are people in your life that are toxic, that are causing issues, that when they come around, they're draining you of your energy, get them out your life. You don't have time for that. We don't know where death is in our lives. We are, you can be living right now and a minute later you can drop dead people are leaving here i don't know how much more time i got on this earth but while i'm here i'm going to enjoy myself and if you don't if you have a problem with it you don't have to be around me that's my attitude because trust me if you give me headaches and causing me hell and problems often you, you ain't gonna be around much longer I'm just going to tell you, you, you know, so I'm like, well, I mean, what? Okay, well, I, I, when I tell you to stop doing X, Y, and Z, and you keep doing it, then I already know you don't give a damn, so it, it shouldn't matter if I cut you off. Because if, uh, if you cared, you would have you did something about it. So it is what it is. But um, I just want to tell y'all. I'm just, I'm so nervous right now. I can't believe this. See, this is what I have to be drinking. And then if I'm with somebody, if like if Tika was here, or my best friend, either one of them, I would be cutting up and acting a fool. Them that I would, I would lose track of the camera. And that's what I like. I like when I'm doing something and I don't have to focus on something like that. But, um, yeah, look at that, look at that. Hey. <laughs> oh, y'all. <sighs> See what people gonna say. What? What did I say? I don't know. My camera just said something. But anyway, <sighs> y'all. I really want to hear from y'all. I need your feedback. I need. I don't mind constructive criticism, but what I won't deal with is bullying. I don't like bullies. I'm not a bully, and I will not allow no one to bully me. Um, I don't, I have no room in my life for negative and toxic people. I don't, I just... I don't have time for it. I'm sorry. Um, but let's have some fun. That's what this whole, to me, this whole social media, YouTube outlook out. This is to be, this is just have some fun. Because I'm telling you, we going to laugh. We going to cry. Y'all might, we might even get angry together. But I'm willing to share my life. And my experiences with you. And I want the feedback. So I'm asking you to like this video. To thumbs up it. To leave me comments. 
to subscribe. Please subscribe. Um, and just let's have fun. You know, when you look at the world events and things that's going on around us, around the world, but even in your same neighborhood, your next door, your 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 state, your just with everything going on, life is hard enough. Just life, just being an adult is hard enough. So let's find an outlet. Let's help each other. If I can help you, I want to help you. But if you can help me, please help me. But the negativity, absolutely not. But constructive criticism, absolutely. I welcome it. Because, you know, one thing about me now, I'm just going to, I don't give, you know, if you ask me for my advice, Stacy, what do you think about so-and-so, so-and-so? Then I'm going to be truthful with you. But I have to tell my daughter all the time because she would, you know, sometimes her friends would talk to her about stuff and she would respond and she's like, well, I don't know. They had like, they got upset. And I'm like, Tika, baby, everything ain't meant for you to respond to. Sometimes people just need you to listen. They don't want, they don't need you to comment. They don't need your advice. They don't need you to point out what they're doing wrong. They simply just need you to listen. And everything ain't meant to be spoken to, uh, spoken on. And when I told her that and she listened, she saw it. Work. I'm like, because sometimes people really don't want your opinion. They just need to vent. They just need to release. And they just need, and if you're their friend, they count on you to be that listening ear. They don't need you to Tell them what they're doing wrong. A lot of times we expect, we know what we're doing wrong. We don't need you. I don't need you to tell me. Sometimes I just want you to listen. Just listen. Be quiet and listen. A lot of times, you know, I saw this saying, and it's so true. Most of the time, people don't listen to understand. They listen to respond. I need for you to listen to me and understand what I'm saying. And then if it, re if it requires a response, then you respond. But for the most part, I might just be talking to you because I just need you to listen. So. Ooh. With that, I sure wish we could play music. Oh, my goodness. I wish we could. Because when I tell y'all, y'all have some either Stephanie Mills radio in the background or because I, I listen to Pandora a lot. Um, Stephanie Mills, um, Kim radio, or oh, my Vibes Cartel. When I tell you that Vibes Cartel, ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I just, I love Jamaican music. I love dance hall music. It just... It gets you in this place where you just wanna, uh, you just wanna dance and you just be happy and don't have a care in the world. So yeah, I'm drinking this kind of slow, y'all. Hmm. But anyway, keep your head up. Just know we're going to have some fun. And we're going to love on each other. And for the ones that come around that want to cause problems for us, we're going to get rid of them. Because <laughs> I will block and delete your ass. <laughs> Just know that. I will. <laughs> whether it's through this or whether it's in life. When I tell you I will block and delete your ass, I will. Because what you not going to do. Is keep coming around me trying to steal my joy and cause problems. Take your unhappy, miserable ass on over there somewhere and, and take it to the next person. Take it to somebody that's going to deal with it, but I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not going to deal with your unhappy, miserable ass. So, with that being said, I love to laugh. And just know, next time, our next video, I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to be drinking more. I'm probably going to have something harder than this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. hmm. Y'all are some really nice, sweet people. I just got to keep saying that. 
I'm truly one of them people that I'm very appreciative when people, people don't have to be nice. People don't have to show you love. So when you, when you find people that do that and do it readily and, and, and without expecting and they just being just genuinely nice and sweet, you, you appreciate it. You love it. I, I just, I went, just looking at all the comments, I, oh my God, y'all just made me feel so special. I'm like, oh, they so sweet. And I tell my daughter all the time, you have some of the best subscribers. Like, they're so cool. They're so nice. And I'm so proud of her because she has been saying she was going to do that. And she's finally doing it and she's loving it. She's loving the YouTube and then that's what I got to get. I got to be consistent. I mean, because I'll start out and then I'm like, oh, because then I be having other things going on in my life and I don't want to drop the ball. But I think this is going to be really good for me because I think this doing this YouTube is going to be therapeutic. If nothing else, I really think it's going to be therapeutic for me because it is going to be an outlet. I'll be able to share some things that um, I haven't shared. And it's, you know, as as we get to know each other, as I, you know, as things go progress and go on, I will, I will share some things, but then you'll understand some things um, about me. And I'm sure then in the process, I'm going to learn some more things about myself. And that's what it's all about. We're going to learn together. We're going to grow together. And we're just going to encourage each other. So until, I was going to say until the next time, but I said I promised that I was going to drink this whole glass first. So let me just drink some more of this. And I know y'all can tell I'm just a little nervous, but I'm sure as time go on, I will get better because, you know, I'm used to speaking in front of people. Um, I used to be over a lot of auxiliaries. Um, and um, and mom, almost everything I did cause catered to, the, to women. Um, I'm used to being around people. I'm used to being in front of people. This is just kind of different because I'm talking to myself, which, hey, yeah, hell, I'm used to doing that too. <laughs> but... This is kind of like, you got to look at yourself. I just be talking and doing what I'm doing. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to what's going to come. I'm looking forward to all of this. Um, excuse me. I love this time of night. Everybody sleep. And for those, somebody that asks, do I live with my daughter? Yes, I live with my daughter and my son-in-law. Um, again, this, it works for us. This, and um, they both work outside of the home. I work in the home. And that way, like now, you know, they don't, I babysit. So, you know, it's the summertime. Nobody has to worry about what's who go where the kids going or they go go to a camp. This and third, they don't have to worry about the school care because I'm here, and um, it works because that money can be used somewhere else. Um, I just believe a lot of times the reason why a lot of us we don't. I think a reason why a lot of us struggle so much is because we don't have that family unit. We don't have that family support. And I am very big on family. You're, you're going to find that out. I'm sure y'all already guessed it with me and Tika's relationship. And you're going to hear me talk about Tika a lot because, again, we live together. So that's who I'm around all the time. Do I, you know, somebody asked, my, asked her, uh, is she my favorite? I don't have favorites. I love my children. It's just that every child is different so you have to 
focus, you have to deal with each child individually. There's not a single plan that you use to deal with all your kids. No, everybody have different personalities. So you have to deal with them accordingly. And that is where I am with me and Tika. Me and Tika, we, when she became grown, when she graduated from high school, when she got with Robert, when she, when she got married and stuff, our relationship changed because she was in a different area in her life. I could now be her friend, whereas before I had to be her mother. With Beverly, Beverly is 22. Beverly is still growing. Beverly is not as mature as Tika in some areas, but she's very outspoken. And she is definitely her own person, but that's what I, you know, and they're five years apart. I used to have to explain, you know, because Beverly used to always feel like I love Tika more. No, it's not that I love Tika more. I, I'm dealing with Tika on a different level now because she's older than you. I can't deal with you the same way. Now, when you get her age and you reach that level, then our relationship will change. Every For every age that your child is, there's a different way you have to handle them. And that's what I have done. I have, I've learned to do that because I learned a lot of my parenting skills. A lot of my stuff came from the lack of. And I'll get into that another day. That's not for tonight. But it's the lack of in my childhood. I had wonderful grandparents, but my mom, she was always out. You know, she had her life and. You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, I love my mother. And I mean, even at my age, I'm very respectable towards her. And she will tell you that. Um, but I'm not going to get into all of that because that's there would be another whole hour. <laughs> but just know, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to put up at least three videos a week. I said two. But now, the more that I think about it, I think I'm going to at least try to put up three. So, give me the questions, give me the feedback, and hey, let's talk about this. Let's come up with solutions together. Let's help each other, okay? And um, we're going to have fun doing it. We're, we're, we're going to have fun doing it. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Hmm. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I love drink. Now, look, I've been talking this long. I, I'm ready to have me another glass, but I ain't finna talk to y'all through no whole another glass. That's just doing too much. And I'm not trying to wear out, as they say, don't wear out the patience of the saints. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I love y'all. Please like this video. Give it a thumbs up. You can leave your comments in the, the down below. Anything you want to ask within reason. Don't ask me nothing you don't want me to ask you or you will want somebody. If you want nobody prying, don't you pry. But ask me and if it, hey. One thing about me, if, I, if I'm comfortable in answering it, I will. If not, I'll tell you I'm not ready to answer that just yet. Um, and please hit the subscribe button. Um, and that little bell thing. So when I, when I uh, put something up, then you can see it. And, and um, yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just have fun. Love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. And I, I just want to tell you, I thank you in advance.